No changes. Win wager bring early double action as well. The one is Sloopy, Ron Burke Train, out of Jing Rodrash for Bill Donovan and Joe Spronko. Number two is Captain's Princess, Tony Gavanya Trains, Andy McCarthy aboard for Vanya Racing. Brad Grant, Al Livveld, Marvin Katz. And number three is Don't Fence Me In, Tony Gavanya Trains, Dexter Dunn on the bike. For Myron and Stephanie Bell's River View Racing, Gavanya Racing, Stephen Head and Jerry Glantz. That is... Starter call. Two-year-old pacing field is lined up for the Sunday opener, the Kentucky Championship Final. Purse of $250,000, field of three. Ron Gain. And uh, they are off. There goes Don't Fence Me In. Spreading out quickly. Sloopy protects a pylon position. Captain's Princess will drop it early from a third as they make their way to the opening turn. Don't Fence Me In. Looking to work up and clear of Sloopy with Captain's Princess. Away giving Jason the third spot. She's just three and a half links off the early lead as they circle the Tattersall's turn. Don't Fence Me In. Looking for back-to-back -back victory. She's on top for Dexter Dunn. Sloopy right there. Very anxious in the pocket spot. Second, Captain's Princess following the early action. Third, the quarter was up in 27-2. and two. Don't fence me in the heaviest of favorites. She continues to curl the tempo across the backstretch. Sloopy very tight in pursuit. Second with Captain's Princess. Still following the top pair at third as they make their way towards the half-mile mark. Don't fence me in. Having her own way up top as Sloopy continues to follow. Captain's Princess remains third. No change in position as the Phillies make their way past the half in 55-4. and 28-2 and in the second stanza. Don't fence me in. Continues to carry that speed out of the far turn. Sloopy still riding right off the big favorite in second as Captain's Princess remains tied in pursuit third. Less than three-eighths the pace. They move midway around the far turn. It's Don't Fence Me In who's gotten every call. Sloopy. Continues just off the uh, pacemaker second. Captain's Princess third. The Phillies make their way to the top of the stretch. Kentucky Championship final. Three quarters, 123 and four. Don't fence me in. Looks to throttle on through now with the Sloopy. Still in time pursuit second. Captain's Princess trying to shoot through at the inside. As they make their way to the mid stretch, it's still don't fence me in maintaining the lead. Sloopy chasing her home second. Captain's Princess third. Don't fence me in. She's going to do it handily here. The opener, don't fence me in. Takes a Kentucky championship final. Sloopy held second from Captain's Princess, 150 and two. Presentation. This is Don't Fence Me In. Tony Galanya, the trader, Dexter Dunn. Aboard for the uh, wedding out. Don't fence Me In. Your first There are your prices. Don't fence me in. Races two through six are clear. Post time for the second race is in eight minutes. Two-year-old Golden Gelding Pacers on the track for this afternoon's second race. It kicks off the 50-cent pick five. But what is Western Air by? Irv Miller trains the Irv Miller Stable Incorporated and Robert McCormick, Adley Bender drives. Number two is Silverstone. Ron Burke trains the Burke Racing Stable. Weaver Bushimi, Jerry and Teresa Silva, Purnell and Libby and Phil Calora, Andy McCarthy up. Three is Pebble Beach. No daily trains for Patricia Stable. Joe Spronco, Country Club Acres, LA Express and JF Racing, Todd McCarthy. Four Wolf Tracks, Linda Toscato trains for the Dreamville Stable, Scott Zeron. And five is River Ness, Ron Burke trains for the Burke Racing Stable, Weaver Bruce Chevy, Jerry and Teresa Silva, Purnell and Libby, and Frank Ball the Cheeto. Dave Miller is in the sulky. That is the field for the second race. It kicks off the 50 cent pick five. The Bardo changes the pick five or the balance.
The Crawford Farm starting it has moved into position. It's post time for this afternoon's second race. Last chance to wager on the 50 cent pick five. Starter call. Two-year-old Colton Gelding Pacers lined up. Kentucky is Sire Stakes Championship, $250,000. Field of five, they're on game. And uh, they are off and pacing. Silverstone hustles out alongside Western Era. Those two together towards that opening turn. The big favorite, Pebble Beach, will drop off the uh, top pair of third. Wolf Tracks away racing in fourth in front of River Ness. Straight alignment, post position alignment into the opening turn. It's Western Era. Calls he has shots up top, Silverstone. Close pursuit second, Pebble Beach following at third. Wolf Track still fourth in front of River Ness. No change in position as they make their way past the opening quarter here to solid 27 seconds. Western Era on the point, two clear for Silverstone. Pebble Beach at one to nine. Still under very patient handling from McCarthy. He is a third in front of Wolf Tracks and River Ness still at the back. No change in position as they make their way across the back stretch. It's Western Era. Western Air controls the tempo. Silverstone continues to track. Closely in second, Pebble Beach. Remaining tied third. The half is up in 53 and 2. 26 and 2 in the second quarter. So Western Era carving up a crisp pace out of the far turn. Silverstone remains uh, very close there. Second, Pebble Beach still biding his time. Third in front of Wolf Tracks. River Ness remains at the back. Still same position here as they make their way around the far turn. Western Era up top. Silverstone looking to pounce from the pocket. Pebble Beach is up another move from third. He's suddenly just a length and a half off the lead. Western Era. Fronts the field past three quarters, 121-2. Pebble Beach begins to vault up down the far outside with Silverstone trying to battle on. Wolf Tracks moves down the center, far outside moving up late. That is River Ness drifting wide, but gaining. They move into the final 16th of a mile. Pebble Beach with the lead. River Ness is rolling up on the far outside. Pebble Beach or River Ness down to the finish. River Ness or Pebble Beach, it's close. Very tight bang bang finish there. River Ness or Pebble Beach. Wolf Tracks third, 148 and four. Photo finish race two. That time, whomever is the winner will be one fifth off the world. The three just held from number five, River S. Three. track side for the uh, Hunterton Farms. Wetter's presentation. Two is Rattle Mike Cage. He's on debut for Ocus Fonstead, the uh, Trader Brand driver for Perry Soderberg. Three, Dancing in the Dark, Marcus Melander trains. For Ben Hammer Stuteri, Brian Sears. Four is Really Fast, Nancy Tactor trains for Brixton Medical, the Hatfield Stables, Marvin Katz, now Libville, Dexter Dundrives. Number five is Kildare King, Chris Beaver trains for Tom Crouch with Andy McCarthy. Six Tangled Love. And Ed Lorenzen trains to the SRF stable with Tim Tietrich. And number seven is Venerate. Julie Miller trains to the Penske stables. At the Andy Miller stable, Andy Miller will drive. That's the field for the third race. Kicks off the early pick three, covering races three, four, and five. There are Crawford Farm starting it has moved into position. It's post time for this afternoon's third race.
Three-year-old Colton Gelding Trotters lined up at this afternoon's third race, Kentucky Championship Final, worth 250. Three-year-old Colton Gelding Trotters lined up, Kentucky Championship Final, worth a quarter of a million dollars. Field of seven there on game. Off stride is Viterate. Viterate on a break at the start. Quattro de Julio left out quickly dead at the inside. Rattle Mike Cage. Also out well for Sponsted, really fast. Marches out up there the opening turn. He floats wide in a third. Dancing in the dark. He's unhurried in the early stages. He'll come out trotting in fourth in front of Kildare King and Tangled Love. And at the back, far behind the field after the miscue is Viterate as they circle that opening turn. Quattro de Julio. Right at the top here for Lucas Walden. Rattle my cage. There, second to quarter, 27 and 2. Solid tempo as they make their way out of the back stretch. Really fast is their third. Right now, four links off the lead. Dancing in the dark. Still fourth in front of a Kildare King. Tangled Love remains in sixth, and it's about 15 more back to Viterate. After the miscue at the beginning, as they trot across the back stretch, no pressure up top for Quattro de Julio. He continues to call the shots uncontested. Quattro de Julio past the half, 54 and 3. The solid tempo continues as Rattle Mike Cage is right there in second, really fast. Still giving chase in the third spot, dancing in the dark, patient fourth four Sears. He's five links off the lead in front of Kildare King. Tangled love to the outside in sixth and far back to Viterate as they trot around the far turn. Quattro de Julio, still the target. Rattle my cage, trying to keep up with him in second. Off stride, but really fast. Dancing the dark, could hear it see a third spot as it move past three quarters in 122. Quattro de Julio, he's opened up to a three link lead. Rattle my cage, continue to give chase in second. Dancing in the dark is up in the third spot as they move into mid stretch. Quattro de Julio maintaining the lead. Dancing in the dark begins to launch up on the outside. It's Quattro de Julio or Dancing in the Dark. Quattro de Julio is Dancing in the Dark. Very close. Very tight. Maybe Dancing in the Dark on the outside from Quattro de Julio. Tangled Love fourth and 149 and three. In the uh, Tardy track, best clocking for dancing in the uh, dark. Joining us track side, make the, make the trophy presentation. Results are official. The price is up for race three. Dancing in the dark worth nine dollars, four eighty and three sixty. Second of the one Quattro de Hutigo, three twenty and two eighty. Third of the two rattle my cage, eight twenty. Exact was twenty dollars and twenty cents. One dollar trifecta, fifty five dollars twenty cents. 20 cents super factor, $67 and 80 cents. Three old trotting fillies on the track for this afternoon's fourth race, Kentucky Championship Final, worth $250,000, no changes. What is Lady Chaos? Linda Toscato trains, Dave Miller drives for Richard Gudnick, Thomas Pontone, Joseph Lozito Jr., and the Enviro Stables Limited. Number two, Impressive Hill. Jordan DeRue, the trader driver. He co-owns with Bruce Soulsby, Alvin Weissenberg, and Gilbert Short. Three is Awesome Tricks. Chris Beaver trains and he co-owns with Aaron Merriman and Robert McNerney, Brian Sears. Four, Piper Hanover. Tony Galanya trains. Todd McCarthy drives for the Brittany Farms. Marvin and Lynn Katz and Al Libfeld. Five, Bill Tassima. Tony Galanya trains for Crawford Farms Racing. Andy McCarthy. Six is at Rondack. Nancy Tactor trains. Dexter Dunn wears the colors of Diamond Creek Racing. That is the field for the fourth race for race four. Three-year-old trotting fillies lined up for this afternoon's fourth race. Kentucky Championship final worth $250,000. Field of six. 
Is that your on game? And uh, they are off and trotting. Beltasima left the uh, gate sharply from the four outside. Adirondack left the uh, gate and drifts wide there into the opening turn. As Dexter Dunn trying to rein in that speed. Beltasima marches on at the uh, top. Lady Chaos is out giving chase in second. Impressive Hill is next in line third in front of Awesome Tricks. Piper Hedber follows from fifth. And at the back, Adirondack reined it early as they trot around the uh, Tattersall's turn. The co favorite Beltasima. On the point, looking for back-to-back -back stakes victory. She's too clear of Lady Chaos. Past the quarter here, very moderate, just 28 and 4. So it's a sensible tempo as they trot out of the uh, back stretch. Belt has up front of the field. Lady Chaos. They've been second. Impressive Hill angles wide, and she's on the attack now for Jordan DeBru with awesome tricks. Tied to get a touch in the fourth. Piper had for Fobbles in fifth. Adirondack still at the back. Impressive hill up to uh, take on Beltasima. The favorites do battle as they make their way up to the half mile mark in 55 and 4, 27 seconds in that second quarter. The tempo quickened as Impressive Hill takes over the uh, top. Beltasima released. She's now tracking second for Lady Chaos. His third dead at the inside. Awesome tricks. Fobbling fourth. She'll angle wide dead at the outside. Piper had for picks up that cover fifth. Adirondack saves ground out at the inside. They trot around the far turn. Impressive ill. The one to catch. Belt has him up. Started to gear back up now from second. Awesome tricks. Inching it up on the outside third. Lady Chaos down at the cones fourth. Three quarters, 123 and three. The favorites, one, two, turning for home. Impressive ill. Short lead dead at the inside. Belt has him up. Trying to inch in down the center late. Lady Chaos is at the inside. Piper Hedver rolls up at the outside fourth. Impressive ill battles with Belt has him. Impressive ill. She's wrapped up here. Impressive ill is spreaded clear. It's impressive hill. Hill, who will win? Beltasima second, Piper Hedeper finished third, Lady Chaos fourth, 151 and two. Armwetter's presentation, this is Impressive Hill. Jordan DeBrew, the trader and driver, he's the co-owner of New York, along with Bruce Soulsby of Ohio, Alvin Weissenberg also of Ohio, and Gilbert Short of Virginia, another Lexington Select Yearling graduate. Impressive Hill, three-year-old Bay Philly. She's by Muscle Hill, the Conway Hall Mayor Slice, Slice Baby. Red by God, greet the Wedding Connections of Impressive Hill. Impressive Hill, the cold favorite. She returns 440 to... Thrill pacing Phillies on the track. Kentucky Championship final worth $250,000. Kicks off a pick three. The one is single girl. Randy Gerald, the trader. Tim Tietrich drives to the BC. Janet Banks. Number two is high minded. Linda Toscato trains. Todd McCarthy aboard with the Camelot stable. Fred Wallace, the Bay stable, and Steve Stewart. Three is Dream Chaser. Tony Gabanya trains to the Brittany Farm. Scott Zierbon. For the beach is calling. Chris Ryder trains for Bella Racing. Dexter Dunn. Five Tava. Julie Bella trains. Andy Bella drives. Or Donald Robinson and Michael Dean Robinson. Six Blue Diamond Eyes. Ron Burke trains for Thomas and Scott Dillon. Yannick Jingram. And the seven is so irresistible. No daily trains for Cotton and Julie Dash. Andy McCarthy. At the controls, there is your field for the fifth race. There are no changes. Post time for race five is just a few minutes away. Three-year-old pacing Phillies lined up for this afternoon's fifth race. Kentucky Championship Final, $250,000. Field of seven, they are on game. And uh, they are off and pacing. The beach is calling. Steps out to Sharply. The big favorite, Blue Diamond Eyes, also hustled away. And down at the inside, single girl. Will slide on through as they zip into that opening turn. The beach is calling. Reaches up to cross over and take the lead. Blue Diamond Eyes will hurry up alongside now with single girl out racing in third. High-minded is away fourth in front of Dream Chaser, who follows in fifth. Tav is next in sixth, and at the back of the pack, so irresistible. The quarter was sharp here, 26-3. and three. As they move on to the backstretch, big favorite, Blue Diamond Eyes. Controls the tempo. Jingrod looking to brash out the speed. The beach is calling. 
Well spotted second, single girl is tracking down at the Cones third. High mod, it's still mid back fourth in front of Dream Chaser. Tava is next at the back still so irresistible. As they make their way towards the half mile mark, Blue Diamond Eyes, the heaviest of favorites. She paves the way past the half in 54 and 2, 27 and 4 in the second quarter. The beach is calling. Just off that big favorite second, single girl still tracking third, high minded. Paged at this point, fourth. She's got five links to bank up. Dream Chaser still filed to begin fifth in front of Tavit. Underway at the back of the pack, so irresistible as the Phillies make their way around the far turn. Blue Diamond Eyes still the one to catch. The beach is calling. Keeping right with the favorite second. Single girl still tracking third. High minded swings wide fourth. Three quarters up in 121 and two. It's Blue Diamond Eyes who's threatening to flee the scene. The beach is calling. Still giving chase second. High minded down the center third with the Dream Chaser late pace into fourth. Blue Diamond Eyes the beach is calling. It's Blue Diamond Eyes. She's put at the test here. The beach is calling. Tries to rally past late. Blue Diamond Eyes. The beach is calling. Blue Diamond Eyes. Digs into win. The beach is calling. High minded third. So irresistible. Threaded through late to be fourth and 147 and four. Back to back stakes wins in Lexington for Blue Diamond Eyes. Ron Burke, the Trader, Thomas and Scott Dillon. Advance in Maine, Yannick Jingra. More of the uh, wedding effort. Blue Diamond Eyes to their Lexington Select Yearling graduate. She is a three year old daughter of Captain Treacherous from the Well Said Mayor Arby ahead of her. Now just shy of one million in career earnings for Blue Diamond Eyes. She takes race five. One Turns 210, 210, and 210. Three-year-old Colton Gelding Pacers on the track for this afternoon's sixth race. It's a Kentucky Championship final worth $250,000. Gerardo changes. The one is Goldie's legacy. Jeff Cutler trains. He co-owns for Tom Pollock's uh, Pollock Racing LLC. Yannick Gingron. Number two is Kaboto Beach. Brett Pelling trains for Dave McDuffie, John Federa, Stephen Weenick, Trevor Ritchie, Todd McCarthy drives. Three is Toronto. Robert Cleary trains for Royal Wire Products Incorporated, Brian Sears. Four, Exploit. Tony Adania trains for LeBlanc and Cribs. Joe Spronko in the gym partners. And Joseph Barbera, Dexter Dutup. And number five is Madman Hill. Edwin Gannon Jr. trains Andy Miller drives for the Zippet Racing Stable and Evan Katz. That's the field for the sixth race. There are no changes. Win place. Exact to trifecta wager. Bring post time just a few minutes away. Starter calls. Three-year-old Colton Gelding Pacers lined up for this afternoon's sixth race Kentucky Championship Final worth two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Field of five there on gate, and they are off. Madman Hill fired up at the far outside. Goldie's legacy also out alertly dead at the inside with Kaboto Beach away giving chase in third. Toronto was out racing in fourth at exploit. We'll take a seat early at the back as they move into that opening turn. Madman Hill crossed over for an easy lead. Goldie's Legacy is up and on the move, though, for Gene Grant. Goldie's Legacy will now take over the top. Komodo Beach also out and rolling, so they shuffle the deck here past the opening quarter at 26 and 4. New leader is at Goldie's Legacy. Goldie's Legacy, the odds on favor. Komodo Beach, he is second choice, will tuck nicely in behind as Madman Hill was gamping off slightly third. Toronto is fourth, and at the back still exploit. And Komodo Beach was back out for a challenge, but to Goldie's Legacy. Gave him the cold shoulders. A move across the back stretch. It's Goldie's legacy. 
who takes his field up to the half in 53-3, and 26-4, and an identical second quarter clip. Goldie's legacy continues to his show the way with Komodo Beach in close pursuit. Exploit is underway from the back, and he begins to rush up on the outside for Dexter Dunn. Madman Hill just off the top trio fourth, and Toronto is at the back of the pack as they make their way around the far turn. Exploit turns up the pressure on Goldie's legacy. Komodo Beach looking for a place to race from third in front of Madman Hill. They're all three quarters, 121 and two, and it's Goldie's legacy who turns for home with the lead. Exploit. Continue to inch in there in between horses. Four outside Komodo Beach. Nail has clear sailing. Madman Hill will dive on through down at the inside. Goldie's legacy a short lead. Komodo Beach rolls up on the outside with Madman Hill. Moving through late down at the cones. Goldie's legacy still there trying to fend off Komodo Beach. Toronto late pace in between. Goldie's legacy digs in a win in 149. Returning track side for the Hunterton Farm Winners presentation. This is Goldie's Legacy. Jeff Cutherford, the trader, he co-owns of Middletown, Indiana, along with Tom Pollock's Pollock Racing LLC. Venetia, Pennsylvania. Yada Jingra back to back. Stakes victories here on the Sunday car. Goldie's Legacy picks up his third consecutive in Lexington. He is a three-year-old brown gelding. By always a virgin from... Goldie's Legacy worth $3.210, second of the two Komodo Beach 210, the exact $3.40. $1 trifecta, $4. The 50 cent pick five, $13.90. Official rundown tip of the sixth race, Goldie's Legacy, the winner, number two Komodo Beach second, three Toronto fourth, number four Exploit fifth, five Madman Hill was third. Rechecking, it's one, two, four, five, and three, Goldie's Legacy. Trotters are on the track for this afternoon's seventh race. Kicks off the $10,000 guaranteed pick four. Low take out 15% to get a $10,000 guarantee. What is more than ever, Tony Adonia trains for the Brittany Farms. Myron and Stephanie Bell's Riverview Racing. Tim Tietrich. To disclosure, Chris Beaver trains for the Delaware Group. Equidex Racing Corporation and Joe Spronko. Todd McCarthy drives. Three is Selfie Queen. Nancy Tactor trains. Dexter Dutta for Robert LeBlanc, David Anderson, and John Fielding. Four, Eternal Lee. Julie Walker trains for Murray Ferguson, Jr. with Brian Sears. Five, Spend the Money, Honey. Carter Pinsky trains for the Pinsky Stables. The Andy Miller Stable. Daniel Plouffe in Kentucky Anna Racing Stable. Andy Miller drives. There is Six, Adore Me. Carter Pinsky trains for the Pinsky Stables. David J. Miller, Curly Talk, Curly Small. Dave Miller drives. Seven American Beauty, Nancy Tactor trains for Marvin Katz, sit down Liveville with Andy McCarthy. Eight, she's a scorcher, Linda Toscato trains, Scott Zeron is in the bike for Ryan Smith. And the night is Pink Gypsy, Ron Burke trains for Crawford Farms Racing, got a Jingra at the lines. That's the field for the seventh race, you get a kicks off that $1. Starter call. Two-year-old trotting fillies lined up for this afternoon's seventh race. Kentucky Championship Final worth $250,000. Field of Dine, it kicks off the pick four. They are on gain. And they are off and trotting. Pink Gypsy came out swinging from the far outside. The big favorite, Selfie Queen, also goes spreading out towards that opening turn with more than ever. Moving on through down at the inside. The battle on here. They're three across the track early. Pink Gypsy looking to sweep to the top four. Jingra past a selfie queen. More than ever. Was out trotting in third in front of Disclosure. She's in the fourth spot. Spin the money, honey. Follows next in line of fifth. Eternal Lee's at a tight rate early from sixth in front of Adore Me. Is to make their way past the opening quarter. Very moderate here. Just 28 and three. The back markers, American Beauty. And she's a scorcher. The big favorite, Selfie Queen, was back around for the retake, and she takes over the top from Pink Gypsy. 
Released, and she now gives chase in second. More than ever. Looks over the top pair third is Disclosure. Continues to follow in the fourth spot. Spin the Muddy Honey. Still mid-back in fifth. Nothing yet from Eternal Lee. She's anxious, but followed up again sixth. Dormy is still seventh in front of American Beauty. And at the back, she's a scorcher. The long shot's last. The pass see a half-mile mark in 56-3. and three. 28 seconds in the second quarter. Selfie Queen looking to make good on a one-to-five promise. And she carries that speed out of the far turn with three-eighths to trot. Pink Gypsy continues to track the pacemaker second more than ever. Still following from the cone third as Disclosure tracks in fourth. Spin the Money Honey is up and underway from a fifth, but she has six lengths to make up. It's Selfie Queen. She's looking to slam the door as they throttle through three quarters in 124 and four. Selfie Queen shows away turning for home. It's a gap of uh, three lengths as more than ever looks to rally into second. Pink Gypsy tries to battle and stay on down at the end sign. Four outside late trot from Eternity's Disclosure moves up in between Phillies. Mid-stretch Selfie Queen and she is wrapped up here Selfie Queen wrapped up coasting home. It's all Selfie Queen, and she's going to win in 153. Tight for Blake's look like eternally up there over more than ever. Disclosure was fourth. Returning track side for the Hunterton Farm. Winner's presentation. This is Selfie Queen. Now the Kentucky champion as well. Selfie Queen trained by Nancy Tactor. Dexter Dunn in for Perry this afternoon. On the Kentucky Horse Racing Commission. They greet the winning connections to present the trophy of... Prices up for the seventh race. Selfie Queen returns 260, 220, and 210. Second of the four, Eternal Lee, six dollars three eighty. Third of the one, more than ever, four twenty. Exact for sixteen dollars forty cents. One dollar trifecta, thirty six dollars twenty cents. Pick three, very popular, or four dollars eighty cents. Oh, fifty. Two-year-old Colton Gelding Trotters on the track for this afternoon's eighth race. It is the Kentucky Championship Final worth $250,000. The one is Classic Hill. Marcus Palander trains for John Schmucker, Scott Zeron. Number two, Fast as the Wind. Tony Galanya trains. Andy Miller aboard for LeBlanc and Cribs. Joe Sprocco, Joseph Barbera, John Fodera in the NM Frank Stable. Three double deceiver. Carter Penske trains the Penske Stables and McKenna Penske, Dave Miller. Number four is SIP. Ron Burke trains the Burke Racing Stable, the Hatfield Stables, Brixton Medical, and Weaver Bruce Chevy, Yannick Jingram. Five looks like muddy. Nancy Tactor trains the Brittany Farms, Marvin Katz, and Al Liveville, Tim Tietrich. Number six, G. Gondas. Tony Adonia trains for Brad Grant, Andy McCarthy. Number seven is Rebuff. Lucas Wadden trains. Brian Sears aboard for Cal Anderson. Lucas Wadden and Peter Dallas. Eight keg stand. Nancy Tactor trains. Dexter Dunn aboard for Black Horse Racing. Christina Tactor and John Fielding. At the night is Majestic J. Tony Galanya trains for Ken Jacobs. Casper Fogut drives. That's the field for the eighth race or Ardo Chan. Two-year-old Colton Gelding Trotters lined up. It is the Kentucky Championship Final worth a quarter of a billion dollars. Field of nine to kick off the late pick three. They are on gain. And they are off and trotting. Keg stand uh, fired up early for Dexter Dunn. Center of the track, SIP. Also out well with fast as the wind on the move towards that opening turn. Classic Hill protects his pot on position. Fast as the wind right alongside Classic Hill. Those two do battle early. SIP continues uh, pressing out of the outside for Jingra. Double deceiver will settle the early stages. Fourth keg stand. 
Found a nice early spot in fifth in front of Looks Like Muddy. It's a break of two and a half lengths to Gigandas, who tracks next there past a quarter, 28 seconds, with the rebuff. And at the back of the pack, that is Majestic J. As the move across C, a backstretch, SIP is worked up and clear of Classic Hill. Double Deceiver on the attack across C, a backstretch. And he's up and on the move to engage for control. Double Deceiver will take over the lead now. SIP back to a second. Classic Hill. Still tracking in third, fast as he went. Bottling the uh, top trio fourth. Keg Stan is anxious, and uh, Dexter Dunn gives him the green light now to the outside. Fifth, looks like Muddy will track up that cover perfectly from a sixth in front of a rebuff. Gigandas is next. Off stride at the back went Majestic J. The half is up in 56 seconds. An identical 28 seconds. Second quarter clip is double deceiver. Continues to front the field midway around the far turn. Classic Hill up and on the attack from second. Keg stand starts to look three wide. He's two and a half links off the lead as SIP begins to flatten out. And that will be to the detriment of fast as the wind. They trot through three quarters and 124 and four. Double deceiver continues to show the way turning for home. Classic Ch Hill giving chase there in second. Keg stand is there third. Far outside looks like money. Begins to move up but late with rebuff. But it's still double deceiver maintaining a two Link lead looks like money inches in. That's rebuff up the far outside. Double deceiver close to home. Double deceiver to win. Rebuff rallied for a second. Looks like money finished third in 152 and three. Double Deceiver takes the final championship event here on the program. Carter Penske, the trader. Dave Miller aboard for the winning effort for the Penske Stables. Plato, Minnesota. McKenna Penske, Sorrento, Florida. Double Deceiver steps in for the Hunterton Farm. Winner's presentation. Another Lexington Select yearling graduate. Victoria's here today. Double Deceiver, a two-year-old. The Connections track side to make the trophy presentation. Mark Simmendinger. Double Deceiver off as the favorite. He returns 440, 360, 280. Second of the seven rebuff, 960, 580. Third of the five looks like money, 560. The exact was $54.60, $1 trifecta, $280, and a dime. The 20 cent super factor was worth $511.68. Official rundowns in for the eighth race. Classic Hill was sixth. Number two fast as the win.